Hello my convicts and convict cats, yes it is I, the Cup of Convict, bringing you guys and gals some Black Ops 4 with my new Net Doomer setting that I said previously I would do today. And we did pretty dang well. Now this is Outrider I'm playing with. Have you looked at Outrider's face? I, I actually feel like Outrider looks really old in this. I don't know why, but she looks like a grandma. Let me know in the comments below what you think, but I actually think she looks a way lot older than what she does in Black Ops 3, which is kind of weird because this is supposed to be set before Black Ops 3. So how did they get that? I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, let's get it on and see what we can do here. And let's try and get a win. So you can see I'm using the MX-9 here. I had to use FMJ and Rapid Fire because people kept using body arm and it was really annoying during my little warm-up game so far. Right, break out the rapid fire and an FMJ as well as a hybrid mag and the reflex sight. So as you can see she's got this little thing called the Hawk. It basically pings out people and you can see them through walls. It actually shows up a red box around that character so if there's anyone who goes around cover you can see literally where they are. So if you've got FMJ and it's a wall you can shoot through, you can literally wall bang them easily because you can see where they are. And as you can see, they hear the sound of the ping every time it pings them out. That's the sound that obviously there are people being pinged by the Hawk. And the secondary obviously is the bow. We all know what the bow does. It's a pretty decent weapon. Again, I'm not too... Not quite... And that's me being detected by the Hawk. So that's the sound it makes when you're detected by the Hawk. Is that... Uh, uh. So if you hear that sound, you know you're being picked up by it. So definitely watch out for that. So I'm just trying to find out where people are. I can hear that being detected. So I destroy the Hawk, as you can see there. Doesn't take long to take them out. So if you've got time, definitely shoot them down. Because they literally die in just a couple of shots. So, out, Outrider versus Outrider, and I I beat him up. I get him the old one too. So, I know there's more people obviously that be spawning here, with this kind of map being so small. So I'm like, oh yeah, forget about that. <laughs> that area this is my first reaction. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot you can go that way. So, it's lucky my teammate helped me out there and actually went that way. So I'm helping him mop up that last enemy at the back there. My aim was so spaghetti there. I don't know what happened, but I felt like I just lost my aim assist right at the last moment. And I just kind of hit the guy at all. So I killed one guy. I know there's another guy. So I'm going to flank around because he's head glitching on the little fountain there, or boxes. I was like, well, I don't know. So I've got my hawk back again. And now I can use my bow and arrow. Guy scares me there. I could hear other people that sound like enemies, but I wasn't too sure, so. There we go. So, just looking around now, I thought, why not put a hawk in here? Unfortunately, I didn't realize the guys had spawned behind me again, or I'd run round. And here we go, it's bow time. So, there we go, just sticking the floor next to him because I know it explodes. Ah, I don't have to really hit you, buddy. Just have to fire near you. Now, if you notice, a lot of the times when I use a bow, I don't actually use the actual reticle, zooming in ADS style. I just hip fire like this because I feel I'm the best like that, which is kind of weird. So I can see people being pinged, turn to just have a quick look see. And I just ran out last minute. I wanted to bow that guy. I was so disappointed that I ran out just as I was getting ready to bow him. Your hawk has run out of power. Okay. So just trying to figure out where people are now. Run round, get some kills in. So come back here to the spawn point. Knowing that there could be a potential of a lot of people running at once, so I don't want to just run into them all. And I could hear someone up here. Just help out the team if he needed any help. Which he didn't, and then take out another one of the enemies. Another guy trying to run in there, it's like, no! 
I hit those, bro. So I know there's more coming. Just trying to figure out are they coming this way, going round, what? I don't know. Have they spawn flipped? So now I obviously know that they're over there. I really shouldn't have fired there, that was a bad idea, but there we have it. And he got the bow, I was like, crap. That's the only problem about the extra time to kill in this game. It gives them so much more time to shoot you with uh, RNG weapons in this game. So I got my own back on him if it is the same person. So again, putting my hawk up there. As you can see at this point, I was just actually you pulling it up and then just dropping it wherever. I wasn't really too bothered about placing it as such using the L2 and R2 because you can actually move it around. I just wanted to put it down. That's why I was trying to think of speed rather than accuracy sort of thing. Because it seemed to be pinging out people pretty easy and people weren't really paying attention to it that all that often as well. Which is kind of weird. Even later on I was finding a lot of people not really looking for the actual hawk and shooting it down. They're just Leaving it wherever it was. The dreaded body armor. To be honest, actually, thinking about it, I don't think I actually had the FMJ on the MX-9 at this point. I know I had rapid fire and hybrid. I think it was later, actually, I, I put FMJ on. So picking up the vapor. A vapor has actually been deemed to be pretty decent now since all the update changes that I've done to most of the games. And I know this gun's definitely got half from Jay on it. So again with a bow and arrow. And being pinged again once again by the Hawk. So here we go once again bowing it. Trying to figure out where they are. I think really I should probably wait a bit longer than just hoping to bump into people. There we go once again. Just take him out with a couple of shots to the floor. Don't need to really aim. So I could hear the hawk. I was like, is anyone camping? No? And then I could see them spawning this way on. And again, went to fire and... Goddamn... Bow and arrow just decided to end at the end. When it wanted it the most. But there we go. Calling the sound counter UAV, and he calling UAV. I said, like, Ah, no, you're not gonna have one, mate. So the first time the hawk has actually been destroyed by one of the enemies, and I could hear the dog. I knew, I knew that heart attack when I heard those dog footsteps. I was like, Oh my god, I'm dead. Luckily, it wasn't. It was a teammate's dog. See this guy here. I meant to shoot, but then the gun ran out of bullets. <laughs> the time's like, oh, okay. Kill this dude here. No outrider, you won't be me. This guy trying to punch me. I don't know what he was thinking. Gave me the hellstorm. Is that okay? Thank you. Just thinking where they're spawning so I can call in the hellstorm. Right, are they coming this way? It's like, yep. Yeah. Definitely coming this way. Take him out. You know what to do. This. At this point, obviously, I would run really low on bullets, so I had to be really careful. Calling my health storm quickly. And boom. So at this point, I knew I've got no bullets left. It's like, I'm just going to have to hope I can kill him. Unfortunately, I couldn't kill that guy. And then they got attack chopper. But there we go. This is the end. I know it's a bit short, but I want to show you the power of Naduma and my new setting. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if you're new, tap the notification bell so you're notified of all my videos, and you truly can be one of Kappa's convicts or a convict head for the ladies. Hopefully you've enjoyed this short but sweet video of me going off and getting lots of kills in this gameplay. I enjoyed it. Outright is a pretty cool character, even though she does look really old. But there we go. We went 
pretty off, I think. 32 and 7. Hopefully enjoy it. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, favorite, search, whatever. And you know it is, it's like the Kappa Convict signing out. And as always, I salute you. And I will see you in another gameplay. Bye. For now.